All right, I'm gonna do a video on this air suspension, air tank drain valve, electric. I got a smaller than what I have on the car for air suspension. I got three eighths hoses, but I bought a quarter push to connect just so I can run the lines a lot easier. I've already started on it. I drilled a hole right here for the button. Here's the button. I'm going to solder it like I already have one side on. I got the button down. I'm going to run the one other side of the wires to the cigarette lighter power. Then I'm going to run the other red wire from behind here and under the side of the car going to the back to the actual motor of the electric motor of the um, drain valve. I got a little piece of wire right here that I'm going to use to connect this from the cigarette lighter to over here. I'm going to solder this onto this button. Alright, I got the wire. The blue wire that I'm going to use is the power running behind this breastplate. I took it off. And it's right here now. I'm going to solder it to my button. The button's going to go in here. Alright, I finally got it soldered on there. It was a bitch. Burnt my hand too. I don't know if you can see that, but I burnt my hand. I'm gonna let tie it down now. Or tighten it down. Alright, I got it all back together on the inside. That's done. The wire's connected to the button right here. Just kidding. I'm gonna run this wire all the way down here and into the back. Alright, I got the wire run. In there to the side and I got the motor installed in the center right there I'm attaching the wires I'm just gonna run the ground then I'm gonna run the quarter inch lines to the outside to a straight above <coughs> here's what I'm gonna use I'm hoping to put these to drain it somewhere out here on each side I'm gonna run a t-splitter Painted it flat black. To each side of the car, we'll see. All right, it's powered up. I just gotta run the lines to it. I ran the ground back here by the battery. Running up here, running alongside there. Here's my setup. Very chill. <clears throat> Here's the line that I'm going to be replacing. It goes outside the car. But, you know, I want it to be on the, each side of the car right here somewhere. So I can just hit the button and the water will come out. And mine is at an angle. So, I my tank's at an angle. If you look at it, it's like this. I got to get it flat. So I got to go down driveways and then hit the button to get my front end as low as I can and it'll drain my water really well. Otherwise, I always have a little bit of water in there. Unless I can do what I'm gonna do by driving to a driveway, slamming the front end, boom, push that button, done deal. I got the car up. Now I'm gonna decide where I'm gonna put the Schrader valves. So, there's my rod. Right here, some. I gotta worry about the exhaust though. That's right there. All right, I got the line from the tank into the uh, the valve. So I'm gonna run a line from the left side of the valve out to the car and probably run a T splitter under the car, so I can make one hole versus making two holes. So now I'm gonna use a quarter inch drill bit and drill a hole right here. So I can get the line from right here to come out of the left side of this and down into the uh, where the spare tower go and out to the outside of the car and run a T-splitter. All right, I got it going out to the outside of the car. Well, not outside of the car, but into the spare tire. Right. 
I'm gonna run my T splitter in here pretty tight. I'm gonna use this bulkhead too. I was just gonna run the line outside, but I'm gonna use this. Right in the center of the screen is the starter hole. I'm gonna make it bigger to fit this. I'm gonna use this to do that. All right, I got it connected to the bulkhead. I'm just gonna connect it to the outside now. I got the T-splitter on there, but it kind of wears me when the line's coming out. It's gonna hit the exhaust, so debating right now. All right, I got it how I want it, so it's gonna be fine, actually. So it's coming off of there. Going up here, I just add some adjustable tie rods. Tow rods, sorry, sorry, tie rods. Tow rods. And I bought, these are the BMRs. And I bought a heavy duty Heim joint aftermarket at a fabrication shop. Cause these don't work with air suspension, but they do now. But yeah, here's this. Going through here my other lines, going up through here, going into the chassis and coming out. And it's gonna come out right here. Under the inside of here. And I'm gonna put the Schrader valve right here. Okay, I was gonna start with this for the T-splitter, but I noticed that it's it's making it want to go towards the exhaust. So what I did was, is instead of this small one, I made a long ass one. It's gonna come out of here and make a U and go up in here and stay hidden and keep these lines up, watch. Okay, trial and error. This one wasn't even long enough. It bent, it kinked. So what I did was, I'm running it through the this bar right here. The chassis. The T-splitter going through there, I'm gonna swing this around. Boop! <laughs> All right, I got it. No kinks, no nothing, everything's done. See the T-splitter in there? All right, I got one on. And it's connected. I'm gonna paint those black. And I got it like this. I'm gonna put some straps on it as you tie it down. In there, right there, and around here, and then swing around out to right there. Bazan! I'm loving that. Paint it black. Mm-hmm. All right, I got it down. I'm just gonna use those tie downs, tie straps. I got it all under here. It's, it's connected. It's going in there, so I'm gonna tie it down. And sorry to say, last weekend, when I put these tie rods on, or these t toe arms, sorry, toe arms, adjustable toe arms on, I yanked on this speed sensor cable. And when I was driving to pick up my kid the other day, the light came on, and I looked online, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this one that I was yanking on. It's only 20 bucks, so I got the ABS light on and the traction light on. The car drives normal, but and I'm pretty sure I was yanking on this fucker. And I shouldn't have done that, it was my bad. So I'm gonna have to go replace this tonight actually and work on it tomorrow. I might do a little video on that. All right. It's all done. So now I'm gonna paint these with a brush. Satin black, just how I like it. All right, I painted them with the brush. Satin black, I'm loving it. It came out pretty good. It's the first coat. All right, it's on. Here's the button. You can't see water, but... but you can hear it. I got one on both sides. Stay, come here. Go, go, go. push the button. Tell me to press it. No. Yep, hold on. That's that side, now the... Do it, do it again. Again. Oh, cool. 